All right, what's up YouTube? This is Joe Kempsey and I'm back here once again on the Play Magnus app. And in this video, we're gonna be taking on Magnus Carlson at the age of 10. And in doing so, I'm gonna to try to just break it down move by move, detail what's going on inside of my head. And hopefully this can be an instructive video for some of you guys. And hopefully we can also come out with a victory. So without further ado, let's hop into the game. We have the white pieces. Let's start with pawn to e4, one of the most principal chess moves um, fights for the center, these two squares. Also, prepares development of the bishop, and you can play the knight to f3. Let's just play the knight out here. So generally in the opening, you want to try to achieve three things. Develop your pieces, fight for the center, you know, like a move like d4, and also get your king to shelter by castling. And if you're following those, if you're achieving those, then you're generally doing pretty well at least in the opening phase. Let's play bishop to d3. So he's loading up some pressure here on, on this knight. It's just going to go c3. I don't want to take on c6 because then potentially Magnus could play queen takes b2. Don't want to allow any of that rubbish to happen. So yeah, just play c3 here and then knight to e7. So Magnus is preparing castling himself. So just go bishop to b5, retreats the bishop. It's going to castle here. I can just take here and take this bishop, because if I take here and he wants bishop takes, then I recapture the bishop with a discovered um, threat on his queen on f6. So I can get both his knight and bishop off the board. The reason for doing that is because it's going to be a bit hard for me to get my knight out. So I guess maybe I can go knight e3 to c4. So also after the opening phase, you generally want to just try to keep improving your pieces. A continuous improvement of pieces is definitely a good goal to achieve, or at least try to achieve in the game of chess. Um, but... Honestly, I'm just going to go for this and try to chase this piece away. I don't want to immediately take here. Okay, so d5, it does fight for this central square e4. It's going to take here. Knight takes. Okay. Let me just see. Might have misplayed that a bit. Bishop takes, bishop takes, queen takes, queen takes, and then... Mm. Bishop takes, don't really have much of a choice. Queen takes and then queen takes and then, yeah. Let's go for this, I guess. Unfortunately, we don't have much of an option. So he gets his pawn back here. Thinking maybe I could go bishop to c4. So also I could go rook to c1 maybe, putting some pressure on c7. Bishop here, what if he goes knight to b4? I think maybe I should just protect this d2 pawn. Now let's just go rook e1 here. So it kicks the piece. I mean, this is kind of what I wanted to play anyway, so definitely not opposed to this. So I'm actually going to take this and play pawn to uh, b3, so his bishop is restricted a bit. Now I'll play the rook to c1. And let's see. So he wants to exchange rooks, but I want to do it on my terms. So let's go king f1. Okay, this move I can just play f3, right? Uh, I, I guess um, Magnus does threaten bishop to d3, but if I play f3, bishop d3, I can just go king to f2, and really shouldn't be too bad here. Yeah, bring the king up. Um, I could go knight c4 here. 
I really just want to get rid of this pesky bishop, though. Let's play knight here. Takes, takes. I'm okay with him taking on c4. Okay. Here, I'm just going to get the rook active. Rook e7. Rook on the 7th rank is generally very strong. Here... It threatens the bishop while protecting the d4 pawn. So now, I think we definitely achieve something here at least. Let's see. Instead of taking that pawn, I'm just going to push c5 and hopefully try to pick off one of these um, pawns here. This move and play the rook into b6. So hopefully this is good for me. Okay, yeah, we're winning pawn here. I'm just going to go right away for this. Bring the king up. I'm threatening to take. Okay, this is just completely winning for me now. Notice how this, um, how the c-pawn is just going to gain so much strength here. Let's play the king up. d6, so this check kind of helps me out. Right now he's practically abandoned the uh, the c8 square. So, yeah, this is just completely winning. And he has to give up his rook for the pawn, otherwise it would become a queen. Now we could just take this pawn here and queen with the a pawn. And we could deliver checkmate. Okay, so let's play g3 here. Just push this pawn up. Keep it simple. A6, A7, 8 equals queen. And just a good checkmate theme to know is like the roller mate, I guess you could call it. Try to achieve that here. So we got a queen here. We want to bring the rook in. Okay, he's not going to let me illustrate this, so I guess I'll have to force him to. So here, king g7 is forced by him. The mating idea is to play rook here and then, you know, a rook here. But he's just giving me mate. But, you know, just for the heck of it, let's let's complete the uh, roller checkmate here. So king here and just pretend this is a rook and that's checkmate. So there you have it. Hopefully this, will at least, this was at least a bit of an instructive video for you guys. Hopefully you learned something. And yeah. If you want more videos like this, let me know. But until next time, I'll see you guys. Thank you for watching and peace out.